Thomas the Tank Engine loves his branch line. One day, when he stopped at a small station, some children look sad. They've closed our playground and our favorite sand pit. Teacher says the sand is soiled and too dirty to play in. Please, Please help, help us, Thomas. Thomas. I'll see what I can do, replied Thomas kindly. Thomas hoped things weren't as bad as the children made them out to be. But as he passed their playground, a small sign read, Playground closed until further notice. The children were right, thought Thomas sadly. He puffed into the yards and was about to tell the other engines about the playground when Percy rushed in. You look glum, little Percy. What's up? The flat controller told Driver that he's using Harold to show a special visitor to the island without using any of us engines. Despicable. Disgusting. Engines are meant to take the visitors around the island, not that whirly bird thing. Gordon was the first to see Harold. Harold thinks he can go faster than me. I'll show him. Next, it was Henry's turn. The Fat Controller has chosen Harold because he thinks he's more important than me. Well, he's not. Harold cannot fly through tunnels. Percy stopped by a signal on his branch line, near a field where sheep were grazing. Harold hovered for a while, and then buzzed away. I know what he's doing. He's counting sheep. And Percy puffed along his line, feeling much better about things. That evening, the engines were talking about the situation. Harold wants to get rid of us. He doesn't need tunnels. Don't worry, he's just counting sheep. Counting sheep? Pa! He's counting how many engines he can get rid of. He'll see how useful I am tomorrow. Thomas wanted to mention the children's playground. But solving the mystery of Harold and the visitor came first. The next day, Gordon was traveling to collect his train. We'll show that Willie Bird just how fast you can go, Gordon, said his driver. But because they were watching Harold, they missed a signal and went on to the wrong line. Gordon was heading for trouble. Ahead was a tunnel under repair. His driver reduced steam and braked hard, but it was too late. Later, Thomas pulled Gordon clear with the breakdown crane. Sir Topham Hatt spoke severely to Gordon's driver. Will Gordon be scrapped, sir? Asked Thomas sadly. What makes you think that? Said Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas decided to pluck up courage. Because the engines think that the special visitor is here to see if we can be replaced by Harold. Sir Topham Hatt laughed. Ho oh, ho, the engines are wrong and you shouldn't listen to rumours, Thomas. This gentleman is making a new playground for the children. It was easier to find a suitable place from up in the air. And what's more, said the visitor, the tunnel sand will be perfect for the playground. Found by accident and rumour, you might say. Sir Topham Hatt still uses Harold to fly above the island. But all the engines know, Harold isn't spying on them. He's just being very useful.